Several promising COVID-19 vaccines being developed around the world are moving into the next phases of human trials. Earlier phases appear to show the vaccines are safe. Now researchers need to know if they're effective. In the clinical trials, we have two groups of individuals, one group um, who received this new vaccine and the other group, half of the volunteers, who receive a control vaccine that has no protection against coronavirus. And what we now need to find out is whether the group who have the coronavirus vaccine are protected and they don't get disease. In the U.S., that means recruiting healthy volunteers. We need to enroll 30,000 volunteers, and that should take a matter of some months. The U.S. National Institutes of Health has been recruiting online through social media. The study being conducted here at NIH requires participants to travel to a research facility at least 10 times over a period of a year or longer. These volunteers will receive injections containing either the experimental vaccine or a placebo, but they won't be exposed to the actual coronavirus. The experimental vaccines work in different ways, but researchers say testing is low risk for most participants. All of the uh, participants have been advised of the risk. So we're very confident that, uh, that the safety issue is not a concern here. China has several vaccines under development showing good early results. One is already being used by the military, and another has been tested on a group of 30 executives after receiving government authorization. In the process, we went forward step by step in accordance with the regular requirements for vaccine research and development, as well as the law and regulations in this process. We must strengthen services and strengthen organizations to speed up the corresponding process. To determine whether a vaccine is effective, it should ideally be tested in areas where coronavirus is active. Since there are very few cases in China, the country has partnered with Brazil, where thousands of volunteers have signed up. I was motivated to help because they need 2,000 participants in Sao Paulo. I participate in clinical studies and I know the importance of having a well-designed clinical study, of having participants so that it's a well-done clinical study. I'm not scared. It's likely a safe vaccine. If research continues to go well, it's possible multiple vaccines could be ready by the end of 2020 or early 2021. Jim Spellman, CGTN, Bethesda, Maryland.